Okay. Hello. Good morning. Yeah, it's 12.20. Good morning. Hello, Tano. Good morning, Pepsi. Uh, good morning, Raph. And happy birthday, Mango. You're old now. I just saw the um, notification on Discord. And thank God I have the Discord bot. Otherwise, it'd be really hard to keep track of all of you guys' birthdays. Take off my headphones for now. I was home earlier, but my computer was just like not doing well. It was just like, oh, your CPU temperature is too hot. So I took off the glass and then restarted it and it seems to be doing good. So yeah, today we are going to continue with the cube. I don't know if we're going to make much progress because today is also going to be about two hours or so since I forgot I have an, uh, an appointment tomorrow morning. So I can't stay up late, sad laifu. I also finally got the macro pad after waiting like over a month for it. So I can actually wait. Why not working? Nothing wants to work today, bro. I freaking hate Mac too. Cause I was trying to get the macro pad to work on my Mac at work. Yeah, it took me a while. Hold on. To open this. Untitled. For security reasons, automatic execution of Python scripts in this file was disabled. What does that mean? I just permanently allow allow execution. Just in case. Eat the apple? What if I don't like apples? Then what do I do? Wait, this is Oh yeah, I forgot. I was testing it earlier and put the entire mask on. Hold on. Five, four. Three. Go for a mango? I could eat a mango, bro. But I haven't had any good mangoes recently. Chibi Halloween Gundam Ataya gives me life. Doesn't it? I love this so much, bro. It's so cute. Super cute. Is this how we left it off yesterday? Oh, wait. So, what did we learn yesterday? Yesterday, we learned mouse... Moves it around like this. Where's the front? What the? Okay. Mouse moves it around like that. Shift moves it like this. Wait. Does that work for this? Okay. So it works on whatever like, side it's looking at, I guess. And then we also learned... Uh, click that. Press G to move. Alright. We moved the cube. Building a Gundam? Modeling a 3D Gundam would be so cool, but I don't think I could ever get that far. I'm kind of thinking like, oh, we could technically follow this whole donut guide thing and make a donut. But making a donut doesn't really sound that appealing, bro. Uh, G for move. G for move. S for scale. S for scale. And then R is to rotate it. Wait. Rotate it? Oh yeah, pressing the mouse button. Change. <laughs> Wait. The heck? How do I make it flat? Okay. Wait. Press Alt. R. Oh yeah, that didn't work for me for some reason. Um, Alt R. This still doesn't work. Alt S and Alt G. Wait. I don't know how to... Wait, press G? What? Okay, whatever. I remember the movement. G is move, S is scale, R is rotate. Damn, is that all I learned in two hours? Bruh. Oh wait, we, all, we also learned how to put the reference image in and then we learned how to... I... Oh yeah, how to split it. Where did the thing go on the side thing? The sidebar thing. 
I could have sworn there's like a bunch of little like icons here. And thanks for the hydrate darkness. Mm. I don't know. We have like this, one of these things on this side. No. Bruh. Hi, Lion. What's up? How are you? Oh, yeah, dude, it's finally Friday. How was your guys' week? Oh, it's this. Okay, okay. And this thing splits the cube. And then the lasso thing to like select it. And then you press R. Wait, you press X to delete. Undo. Okay. Okay. Um, someone also mentioned pressing the orange square on this side to move it. Okay. Okay, just set everything to zero. There we go. Mm. What is the difference between layout and modeling? Layout. Blender. Difference between layout and modeling. Welcome back. I am Bluebee. Bluebee, thank you for the follow. Going to do nothing except play games all day. Honestly, I wish I was doing that too. But tomorrow I'm going out uh, in the morning for my appointment. And then going out with my mom. And then on Sunday I'm getting brunch with my friend. Ugh. Thanks for the lurk, Mingo. But then again, I did spend the last two weeks just playing games at home so i guess it balances out those are a lot of specific languages for the rules um it's because we have a lot of those specific languages coming into the chat and like we warn people to speak english because i can't understand what they're saying and sometimes they don't even translate what they're saying and sometimes it's not nice so yeah that's why the warning is there Oh, we... What are we making? So, we're going to be attempting to learn how to make this chibi as a 3D model. And just to let you know, I don't do art. I don't do modeling. I don't know anything about this. So, that's why we have guides here. We have guides here and we have people telling me what to do. That kind of thing. Layout and modeling viewports doesn't matter too much. It doesn't? Then how come uh, modeling has like this sidebar and layout does not? Can you like see the sidebar on layout? Or make it like show up? I was going to make a masterpiece of art. Bro, you don't know that. I am I'm not an artist, dude. Press T. Oh! Thank you! Okay, pressing T gives you this bar. I have to put that into my notes. Blender. T equal... What do you even call that? I guess toolbar. Oh, T for toolbar. Mm, T for T pose. I mean, if everything worked out properly, I probably could with this. I watched a few videos about modeling, got overwhelmed. Mood, bro. Like, these videos are like hours. An hour. This one is like one hour. This one is also an hour. This one is like broken up. But it's still like 10, 15 minutes each video. Recommend modeling T-pose. Like for the standard, the start, in the beginning. making that donut so i've got a brand stop making new that opening. donut when thinking of t pose versus a pose a pose is it a pose or a pose t pose is a lot easier to start with how do i make a t pose out of this art 
I mean, it's kind of low-key-ish tea posing. I feel like I need to think about, like, the body without the clothes on first, huh? Like, you make the body and then you make the clothes on top of it? Or is it just you make the whole thing as it is? A pose? A, like, A pose or A uh, pose. At least from a few videos I've seen to start with T pose. Lude? A pose. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Arms at side? Oh! Okay, okay, okay. A pose is like... Like all generic, like life 2D models. That standard pose. And then T pose is just... T pose. You start body, then add clothes on top. Oh yeah, I did try importing that chibi model from yesterday, but I don't know how to work with it. And it has like the little, like, not triangle, but kind of triangle like bones underneath it too, but they don't move together either. Like when I click it and drag it around. And she's in the middle of raising or lowering her arms before or after a T pose. Oh. Uh. Your body is going to be what? Wait, your body is going to be what has weight painting and bones and stuff. I don't know what any of those mean. A pose is like what you said. 2D VTuber models be like. <laughs> okay. T pose is easy. Why is T pose easier than A pose? Let me see if I remember how to pull up the thing. This pop up, bro. Where is not showing? It says six results found, but where is it? Because you can model in orthographic views easier than doing things diagonally. Well, that actually makes a lot of sense, kind of. I guess. It's... No, he's make he's not making it up, bro. I know yesterday, I think his name was like Carlos. He was also like orthographic, orthographic, and I was just, huh? What's that? <laughs> I've never heard that before. Um, the speed run timer? The speed run to make this? We took two hours to learn how to use... Use stuff? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's close this because I feel like that's not helpful right now. We'll keep the donut one open. First. Blender, so clear whatever you did in the last video. And then um, speed up. And is delete the default queue so I can delete and then replace it in shift A or another new object. And then underneath mesh, we've got the base meshes you can start with. So you want to start with something that looks closest to what you want to create, which is the donut. So Okay, you want to start with what's closest to what you want to make. Wait. What shape is the closest for a chibi? It would be like a rectangle, huh? Hi Halu, good morning. How are you? I'm not baby, I'm just learning. Might be taking baby steps, but I'm not a baby. It's not disappearing either. Oh, there it goes. What's up, bro? You're sleepy? I am also kind of sleepy, TBH. I feel like I'm really tired at near the end of my shift, but then I get home and then I'm like, I have energy again, but I'm really tired still, but I'm not sleepy, even though it was like 30 minutes ago. The bones are what make you move and stuff. Having default T-pose gives you a lot easier to room. Gives you a lot easier room to work with than posing it and working around the position you wanted it. Think of like clothes getting tailored. They make you T-pose. Do they? To access different orthographic views, you can use your numpad. What? What numpad, bro? I have a 10 kilos. I don't have a number pad. <laughs> Um, you understood that? 
two times is too fast for me? Yes? I feel like the regular one is just too slow. Sometimes they talk fast enough where 2x is like a little too fast, but generally I understand it. Thanks for the hydrate. Hmm. Same? The sleepy part, right? Yeah. I'm just setting to emulate numpad, but there's other eggs to fry. Where are the eggs? I'm thinking maybe not literal eggs. No. Oh, uh, thanks for the lick, bro. I appreciate it. Let's see. Which one is my glasses? Ouch. Wait, that was not it. That's not it. Where are my glasses, bro? <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out this macro pad. Oh, there we go. How you concern me sometimes? Why? Wait. Is this one the cook one? Is this one the... Fuck, it's not the cook one. Have you successfully... Hi, Dad! That's my rigger right there. Wait, let's... There we go. If you guys need a rig a model, ours is your dude, bro. He did such a good job with mine. But no, yesterday I have learned to fix the cube and make it back into a cube. That was it. Absolutely love that you just went balls to the walls and decided to make a whole ass model instead of making small objects first. Small objects like what, bro? Oh yeah. The cook one didn't go off. Let her cook! Why is it not working? I need to figure it out. I need to memorize it. Eventually I will. Let's see. Let her cook. Where is it? Bonk. Baby Yes Chef is 10. There we go. Oh, you can see because I have, <laughs> I have display capture on. Oops. The donut tutorial? I have it open right here! <laughs> I'm still on the second video. The smaller cubes? I don't, I get, wait. This, to make a small cube, you scale and then boom. You have. Wait. You have small cube. Alt S to. Ready to go. There you go. Most people just start making a donut or something. You want to make a whole person? Because I didn't think about like, oh, learning to make small things. I, I figured the chibi was simple enough to learn from there. The donut tutorial is a rite of passage. The donut misleads you. So it's not something I should use. No, it's not. Skipped all of that and just made an entire donut first. Okay, okay, okay. Donut first. Wait. He oh, said, one. delete the cube and then shift add something that looks like the donut. What is a torus? Bro, it basically makes a donut for you. The donut will teach you the program. Torus is a donut? So we've already made it then. <laughs> okay. Wait. How do I... G to move it. Move it in front of the model. Just so we can keep track of it. Great. Next, make the hole smaller like an actual donut. Here's the closest match. A torus. So, when you click okay. the this, and it's okay, but it looks a little thin. It's a little bit weak for a donut. Thankfully, though, in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see a box. And if you click the box, you can see you get settings. And this is going to change. Okay. In the bottom right corner, you'll see a box. Well, you guys can see what I see. I see no... Box? Box? View? Marker? I feel like that's not... Oh, oh hey, did it disappear? Wait. How do I make this thing not... Not look like that? How do I make this thing look whole? It's not there. Box will only show when you create new. 
You need to make the donut first and then it'll teach you a lot of the things you're going to have problems with. You already move donut, box option disappears. Control Z. Okay, let's try that again. Get rid of the cube, shift A, donut. Shift A, donut. Um, oh, okay. I got the box. I got the box. Change the look of the torso. Now, by the way, if you don't see the box, it's because you accidentally performed an action after you added the torso. So, I'll say, for example, click on the Oh, he says it like right, <laughs> right there. So, some actions in Blender, you will get um, options immediately after you perform an action. But if you do another action, it clears that you don't have those options anymore. Anyway, Not so, uh, with the options here, you can see I can change the resolution of the donut. And down here, underneath major radius, I can change the size of it. Uh -huh. <gasps> okay. Something here, the radius, you change the size. Donut! <laughs> I gotta stop yelling. Oh. I got it. Don't fast forward stuff. He talks too slow. <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not really good at concentrating when it's slow. That's the reason why I have it on two times speed because it's easier for my brain to process it. You gotta wait, imagine it. You gotta learn the alphabet before you start making sentences. Letters, words, sentences, donut, other objects, model. Wait, the box disappeared. What? Wait. This? Okay, donut. Why does that look different than earlier? Earlier, I feel like it was more... The hole was bigger. But right now, the hole is small. If I change it here, does that change the standard for whatever I add in. Just need to know how to do donut and icing. Should get basic enough to model another object. You change the setting for how it spawns in the project. Okay, so it does change the standard then. Gotcha. Okay, that's good enough for me. I feel like this is perfect enough for a donut the correct real world scale. So this major radius here is saying that it, this is 0.4 meters. The radius or diameter is double that, which means that this is currently an 80 centimeter donut, which is... An 80 centimeter donut. CM, two inches. 31 inches. So this is like a two foot big donut, huh? And good morning, Cho. What's up? How goes the modeling? I have made... Or I didn't make it. I have added in a donut. No need to be that accurate. Oh. So it doesn't have to be a tiny donut. It could be a 32 or an 80 centimeter donut. Further in the tutorial, he doesn't teach certain parts as well. You just slept for more than half. Damn, bro. You're getting in that good, good rest. Though honestly, sometimes when I sleep too much, my body hurts. A further tutorial is geometry node, etc. It's useful if you want to dive deep in Blender, but not needed if you may want to make a chibi. It can be massive and then scale it down. Okay, so I don't have to like scale down the donut right now. I could just leave it as is and later I'll learn to change the size of it. The good rusty egg. That does sound nice. I want to sleep in. I'm so jealous. Take a sip. Hey, you're gonna fall off. Oh my god. Okay. No, I can't. I have. I forgot I had an appointment with the financial advisor because my mom wants to like double check all of my, uh, my accounts. Space. Oh, that's the wrong one. Almost half me. <laughs> um, it's a big donut, very big. By the way, if you are American and you would like to use a different unit system, you can do it over here in the properties of the unit. You can change your unit system to Imperial, and then it will use. Blah 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 blah. blah. You, you know, we could just go with metric. You can use that if you want, but for the tutorial, I'm gonna stick to metric. So, 
this this size here, um, we want to match real world. So the research that I did says that most donuts are about 10 centimeters. Right, like about that. Most donuts that, are 10 right, centimeters, so are they? Half of that, so therefore this should be five centimeters. So if I just typed in here five centimeters, we can get the correct thing, which is 0.05 meters. And then if I adjusted my minor radius, um, I mean, there's obviously no measurement for this, but like, you know, how fat the donut is, is totally up to you. If you want to look like chubby, you can, you know, go like that. But I don't know, I think something around like 0.28. Do you like your donuts good, fat or thin? I kind of like mine thin. Unless they're like cakey. Like, that's, that's the one, that's the size I'm going to use. And then the other thing is the resolution, the resolution of our donut. Now, you might think that you would want to use as high a resolution as possible, right? Because I remember I did that when I was studying out with one. Every new object I had, I used the most <laughs> courtesies I could, most highest resolution, not realizing that actually what you want to use is the lowest resolution, and then use a subsurf modifier, which we'll get to next, to smooth it out, because then you've got less vertices to work with. It's easier to work with a lower res mesh than a higher res. Anyway, the point is, is we want to set this to something low, but something that will at least have the correct overall shape that we want. So, um, you know, something like this. Okay. Uh... Why does his thing look different from mine? I feel like his thing has more options. But it's so small I can't see. I'm gonna make it big real quick so I can actually read what's on there. Are like regular cake donuts? Like crawlers? Cruel crawlers? Thin if no topping, thick if they have frosting. I like my glazed donuts thin, but I like Wait, actually no. I like my glazed donuts thick. But my other like sprinkle donuts kind of skinny and this is making me want to eat a donut but i don't know where i'm going to find a donut at like one in the morning uh operator presets location rotation major segment minor segment dimensions radius minor. where the heck did he find the resolutions because i don't even see it on this thing this um, and also, I want to keep the um, the side of these faces. I want to keep them close to square, like as square as possible, to smooth it out. Because then you've got less vertices to work with. It's easier to work with a lower resolution than a higher resolution. Anyway, point is, is we want to set this to something low, but something that will. Oh, so it's the segments part. Okay, okay. Let's see. Segment. How can I make my donut not look see-through, Duncan? Donuts are completely different. I feel like Dunkin' Donuts is okay, but there's some, like, family-owned shops here that are... Alt-Z removes the donut, bro. You have x-ray mode on? What is that? <laughs> what? Like, I, I literally pressed Alt-Z and my donut disappeared. Oh, wait. I think it was one of these... It was something here that I clicked yesterday. I don't know which one. Okay, there we go. No, Alt-Y. Does Alt-Y not work on this for like redo? Our Alt and Control. What? I might have uh, misclicked it. Alt-Z. This is what Alt Z does for me. Um, also, when I was pressing like Alt R, that one doesn't work either. Hi, Chrono. What's up? Is he? Solid! Okay, okay, okay. Z. Change. A see through slash solid mode. Okay. How can I see this donut better? Where the heck is the... I want to move this in front of the model. Ta-da! Donut. And zoom in on the donut. Oh shoot, but if I move it then... The settings box disappears. Okay. You want to change this so it's like bumpy but still... But still has the shape of a donut. I use Blender daily too. <laughs> I mean, there's so many things to like learn in terms of like shortcuts and like hotkeys and whatever. So I get it, bro. It's easy to forget them. Hi, Perkin. What's up? 
is really cool, isn't it? It'd be even cooler if I could actually uh, do it. But we're still on day two. So you know what? I will be nicer to myself. Holder Horror looks very happy about the giant donut. I would be very happy if I had a giant donut too. Have you guys ever tried the giant Simpsons donut? It was like years ago. Like when I had it. Um, back when the Simpsons movie came out. And they had like the giant donut. I'm pretty sure that was a thing. Giant Simpson donut. Yeah, bro. Oh yeah, it was at Universal. The giant donut. I ate it all by myself. <laughs> you make me hungry for a donut? But that's because dad and like uh ramen were like donut donut and plus this guy is also like donut at least have the correct overall shape that we want so um you know something like this uh um and also i want to keep the um the size of these faces i want to keep them close to square like as square as possible i want to say um and you're not to know it because you know, you're starting out but the reason for this is later on down the road we're going to use displacements and it's much better if you've got square faces for displacements so anyway something like that is pretty good okay cool square faces 28, 15. Does that look pretty square to you? It looks pretty square to me. They're more like rectangles. But as we went over well, yesterday, rectangles are basically squares. Okay. Yeah. Let's say you want to change the shape of that object because that's very common thing you want to do when you're building 3D creations is you want to tweak it to look how, how you want. So right now, this is the most perfect donut that ever existed in the history of the world. You could have the, like a donut competition and no one would ever be able to make a perfectly round and smooth shape as this, right? Because computers make things that are perfect and in the real world they're not. So that's why imperfection is... Wait, did he just call this round and smooth? This doesn't really look round or smooth to me, bro. Learning is a process and I'm sure you'll get it down soon. Okay. Give me, give me like a, a few months. Give me like half a year at least or something. It's close enough. Close enough to like smooth. Virtual perfection, which is a quote by someone, but it's very true. I don't know who said it, but it's very true. So what we want to do is make it look a little bit lumpy, a little bit misshapen. So to do that, we need to enter into make the edit. donut look the corner, chunky. Corner, you can see we are in object mode, and if you change that to edit mode, you will see that we get this, which makes it look like a grid, like a cage has appeared over it. Okay. So you go up here, object mode, and then you click edit mode. And now it looks like a grid, but it doesn't look solid. Was his solid? His is solid! Why is it not solid? Wait. It is solid! Why did- why did this thing turn see-through, but his stayed solid? Bi-weekly progress reports and daily check-ins? And you might be able to get daily check-ins from me, but like bi-weekly progress reports? I do a bunch of reports at work, bro. I don't want to do it for stream too. X-ray mode on top of viewport. X-ray mode on top of viewport? And he needs to up his standard for smooth, right? Okay, top right. Okay, boom. It is solid. It is solid with a grid on it. We're making so much progress. Um, or the hockey for this Wait a second. It doesn't look the same! Wait. Does it look the same? How come his has like... It, the color is different. And the color is different and it has like tiny little circles on each of like the corners. He's on vertex edit mode. You are on face. Vertex. Wait. How do you change that part? Where do I find vertex? Add cube, measure, annotate, transform, scale. Okay, that's none of those. Holy build, spin, smooth, edge, drink, fatten, shear, rip. What is this? Mode? Mode? 
Bode? Bode. Okay, it's not as. Should. Top left next to edit mode? Oh, it should be one, two, three. Shift click for multiple modes. Wait, shift click? Shift click. That's not it. Control click. Base selection mode. Uh, thanks for your alert, Chrono, and have a good night. One, two, three. Are you pressing like one, two, three on your keyboard or? Oh, okay. I see. Circle all of it. I got it. You mean one, two, three as in the options, right? Okay, okay. Cool. This is that thing. Thank you for the gift sub, Cho. Oh, shit. I just realized that the uh, Streamlabs thing didn't update, even though I followed the instructions yesterday and I have restarted OBS now. RIP. Thank you, though. Is it because I don't have stream labels open? I have it open right now. Hopefully, this fixes the problem. Maybe I should just move back to Streamlabs instead of using OBS. OBS is kind of lacking. I hate that I have to put in all these like widgets separately instead of just having everything there already. You know? You feel? Tap. Um, because this is a very okay. common action. Just switch between object mode and edit mode. Just tap. By the way, when you are in... Tap. <gasps> oh, wait. Between object mode is like this. Tab, not tap. Hi, Cross. Good morning. What's up? Hotkeys for one, two, three. I can't use the hotkey because small keyboard. Mood. OBS and Streamlabs is like Android and Apple. I do know that. But like, I like Streamlabs for being super convenient. But I like OBS because it's less resource heavy. Tab to switch from object mode to edit mode. Very important. Okay, that goes in the note. Tab. Switch between object and edit mode. Very important. Important. Streamlabs is heavy, yeah. Even like with a 3080, my computer doesn't like stuff. Streamlabs is designed for a dual PC setup. I mean, I've thought about it, but I also can't justify the cost of like a dual PC setup. I mean, I could technically just build like a smaller, smaller keyboard, smaller keyboard, smaller computer, like a basic, like under $1,000 one to use to like offset. But then I need more desk space and then I need another monitor to actually like, see what's going on. VTubing be really expensive, bro. Very expensive. Not worth. We'll see. You know what? Anything that is big or requires big money, we will reserve for way later. In edit mode, the only thing you can do, the only thing you can click on is within the object itself. Like if I'm in edit mode on It's possible for the future. <laughs> I'll think about it. Or camera, you can see nothing happens. The only thing I can click on is the object itself. So just something to keep under. So while in edit mode, you can see that now that I'm clicking around, I can click on these little dots here. And each of these dots basically is the shape of the donut, as you can probably guess, right? Um, and if I use the same hotkeys you remember from the last one, G to grab, if I were to G and grab this up, you can see that I would make a spike. Oh, now, okay, okay, wait. Singular spike because that would be horrible. You can press G to grab? Wait, are you supposed to press G together? That didn't do anything. Wait. Press G. 
What is? Oh, okay. So it was just a little slow. <laughs> Didn't you build your PC? I mean, I did, yeah. There's... You know what? We could, we could, like, pretend... Hold on. Zoom out a little bit. Hello, Vortis. What's up? Good morning. Press G and put it down. Select it. Wait. Select this. Press G. Why is it not moving? How do I make it go go down? Cuz I was thinking that if it was like a small little thing, then you could literally make like a cat donut turn off snapping. What is that? <laughs> I am old, so building your own PC wasn't a big thing until recently. This PC has been made... Oh shit, it's been like five years now. It's been five years, but I've like upgraded parts over the years as I was VTubing. When you installed, did you select industry standard? Uh... I don't know... No? <laughs> I don't think so. There's a magnet in the top for snapping. There's a magnet in the top. Okay. Naruhodo. All right. Okay, let's try this again. I started building PCs when I was six. Damn, bro. Wait. Hold on. No. Like that. And then make it even. That is not even. <laughs> That looks about Nut. right. What are you nutting over, bro? Mm. Okay. We're going to make a cat donut. So this is going to stay. <laughs> Look, it looks so cute already, bro. And I also don't want to like, make this donut look lumpy. I don't want to go like this one, and then this one, and then this one. Like, that's, a lot, that's a lot of work, and it's not even going to look very good. What I want to do instead is I want to like grab one and then like have it affect the vertices around it. So there's a tool for that, and it's proportional editing. So at the top of the screen there, little button. Proportional button. editing. It's at the top of the screen here. Click. You need to watch the rest of that. Donut on off. Um, and then when I do that, if I use the same shortcut G to move this one vertice, you'll see that now as I move it, the rest of the donut comes with it. Um, but it only looks like the whole donut's coming with it. If I was to scroll up, like scroll on my uh, on my mouse right now, just scroll up or down until you can actually see uh, what's this little circle appearing. So if you scroll up, it'll get smaller. So anyways. Okay. He just clicked this. I don't know which one it is. He just said to click this to on. Oh, it's this one. And then you press G. Oh. <laughs> no, hold on. <gasps> you can literally like make a like a little uh It could be a little rabbit, like one of those like snow bunny. Ah. Tutorials at two times speed. Can you relate, bro? You Alright. Okay. We have... Bro! <laughs> Please! Proportional editing, very important. Hi, Ke, what's up? Guy, G, Guy. Oh, took them apart, Frankenstein to PC together and went from there. That's so much experience. So if I ever have trouble with my computer not working, then I just go to you, right? Make Howie Donut? How do I make Howie Donut? I 
It looks like this, you can see that I have X the area of those C's around it, right? So what I want to do is just make, I want to make it look lumpy, so around that sort of area, and I'm going to hit Z, because I'm moving it, and I want to move it along the Z axis, so it's just going up. And now you can see I've got part of the donut, which is a little bit lumpy. Okay. You, you click this. Wait. No. Hold on. You, wait. You click that, press G. Did that do anything? I feel like it didn't do anything. Wait. Where did the giant circle thing go? Like, press G. But this is highlighted, so why is it not working? Mm. I can't solder anymore though, I shake too much. I feel that shaky fingers are the worst. Use your mouse wheel to change circle thing size. You click G. Where is the circle thing though? It doesn't seem like it's actually uh doing anything except moving it around. It's probably big. Click G. I'm scrolling down, but it's not working. It looks like the donut is just moving, but it's not. Mouse wheel up. Okay. There we go. Pointy. Okay. Cool. Um, try that again. You press G and you move it around. And now it's stretchy. Ooh. <laughs> okay. That part done. Um, that's actually probably a little bit too lumpy. <laughs> so let me just undo that and let's try it again. Move it up. Oh, come on. It's what is he like trying to do? Anyway. So something like just a little bit lumpy, and then I'm gonna grab like this one here, and I'm gonna move that down a little bit. So now I've got a weird little uh, lumpy bit of donut, and I'm just gonna like misshape the rest of it, right? Because no donut, no donut is perfect. Although they do try. Um, what if I want my donut to be perfectly circular though? I'm using like a donut like mold. I do be everywhere. I need to go out and hang out. <laughs> Imagine touching grass, going outside, hanging out with real life people. What's wrong with you, bro? Bruh. Online people are your real friends, okay? Those people outside don't care about you. Just make it a little bit squishy, because otherwise it's gonna look like a, like a, uh, I don't know, like a war park, right? There's little inflatable rings you can get. I never forget as a kid, there's a war park a lot, and uh, yeah, there was like. This he big wants me to make a lumpy donut. And uh, I used to love like stacking the rings on top of each other. What's grass? Like, exactly, bro. And grass is like fake. It's like turf. That's what it is. I'm on my way right now to make you some barbecue. Am I getting like American barbecue or like, we talking like al pastor? You want al pastor? What's outside? So you open the front door of your house and then you step outside of it. And that is the outside world. Korean barbecue is also pretty good too. Make the donut lumpy. Today, I wanted to eat a <laughs> croissant. croissant. <laughs> a croissant sounds good too. With like fresh mozzarella. It's 1 a.m. You can't be making me hungry, bro. Al pastor tacos. Korean barbecue. American barbecue. Croissant. Oh my god. No more food. I make pretty good Korean barbecue, but I cannot beat high class Korean barbecue places. I bet you can't beat my mom either, bro. Wait. I was thinking that maybe for the cat face thing, like the face, we could like attempt to mold the face to look more cat-ish. I just brain farted. Hold on. I'm going to look it up. Cat donut. Images.
Mm. Bro. You're going crazy on those sound routines. Do you like them? I wasn't really sure. But I had a hard time figuring out what I wanted to put in. Because I did update them the other day. I bet I could surprise her with my cooking for how white I am. Honestly, if you can surprise me, you'd surprise her. <gasps> like this! Wait. Okay, open that in the new tab. This is really cute. This is super cute too. Alright, let's see these. But like... Wouldn't the face for this be like something... Separate? Something... After? It's so cute. How could you eat this, bro? Cat donut. Eh, this one is kind of meh. These ones are pretty cute too. Okay, we're going to make one of these for our donut. We're not going to make the standard like frosting and sprinkles donut. You're going to go to Japan to eat them? Mr. Donut! I do want to go. One day, I'm going to go to Japan and I'm going to eat all the cute shit, bro. Can make kimchi from scratch. I just refuse to because of how expensive it is to make here. Oh yeah, because you probably don't have like all the um, necessary ingredients at home, huh? Okay. Let's continue with this. Just do it! Bruh. Make I'm true! Pokemon donuts were good in Japan. I had the Pokemon donuts from Dunkin' Donuts in Korea. It was pretty good. Gotta admit. I had the Pikachu one. Those donuts are cute. This is gonna be the idea for this thing. I guess we could just make it slightly lumpy. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, JDM. Wait, that's a little too lumpy, I guess. Oh my god. Wait, how to... You press G? I don't know how lumpy a donut should be though, bro. Really? Wait, that's not it. No. Press G and... Like that. It's like raised here. I forgot which one I clicked. How about like that? I mean, it's kind of lumpy. <laughs> it looks more like one of those like saucer peaches than a donut, I feel. Mm. <laughs> Make it Halloween themed colored. Vortis, thank you for the follow. I'll be back. Okay. Hi, Luffy. Good morning. The fact that the ears are probably not identical is tormenting mentally. Bro, don't, don't think about it, okay? We're not gonna think about it. If you point it out, I'm gonna look at it harder and I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to stress myself out over my ears. Plus, these donuts are like handmade, right? Like, they're, they're probably not gonna be exactly the same. Just like the donut. I hate that this donut is not like perfectly circular, bro. Oh my god, this is annoying me. How about we just like pretend to make it? Ugh! Okay. Ugh. They're like eyebrows, sisters, not twins. The ears? I mean, the ears. Kind of. The angle makes it really hard to tell. I don't even know if they're like properly spaced out either. They're not! <laughs> well. Oh shoot. It's like. One back? Two back? Bro, who who mentioned the ears thing? You know what? No, we're, going, we're only going to look at it from the front. Make your donut a little wonky. It has personality. The ears should be personality enough, okay? And the fact that they're not... Ex they're not, like, 
at the same same thing Ugh. pain bro pain okay we're just gonna leave it at that that's good enough for me oh, too, nothing better to do tell me to get out of the pool anyway uh, so as you can see, I'm just grabbing parts of the mesh. I'm just moving it. You don't have to copy my exact motions as I'm doing this, just so you know. Just make your own misshapen donut. Don't copy mine. F follow your instincts. Make your own. I did follow my thing. instincts. I made a cute donut. Anyways, like that. Look at that. Horrible, weird, misshapen looking donut. That's what you want. You don't want a perfect looking donut. You want something that looks weird. So well done. You've made something weird. Now you're probably thinking, hey, can we please get rid of the jagged look? Because it looks like you cut your finger running across it. We cope without mirror editing. Donut. It's too it is what it so is. If you are in object mode, it's important to be in object mode, and you were to right click your mesh, you have these settings, and at the top there you put two settings which are very common shade smooth or shade black. So we're going to use. Okay. Uh, you right click, you need to be in object mode, and then shade smooth or shade flat. Make it lopsided cute. How lop. I mean, it kind of is already lopsided, unless you're asking me to make it more lopsided. Gonna give that Neko nut a dragon tail? No? That sounds hard. Ugh, I'll think about it. We'll, we'll put the idea on the back burner. How about that? Wait. And then right click. Smooth. Okay. No, just saying it'll look good regardless. Good. Remember, donut is basics. You are learning the program. Make a better donut later. <gasps> if I learn to make a better donut later, then I could actually just make the donut and put it into tits. It looks like a little Digimon. <laughs> I hate that I can actually smooth. see it. So flat is used for things like buildings, flat planes, things like that. And smooth is for organic shapes like this one. And it's gonna basically. Okay. Flat is for building. Smooth is for organic shapes like this. This is an organic. What is an organic shape? Like something that is living? Something that is not a building, I guess. Mm. Living? The donuts aren't technically living. Living or natural? Living or smooth? Okay, okay. We'll save so much time just following the tutorial and learn a lot more faster. Our goal for this stream, make perfect donut after this tutorial for tits. After I only have an hour, bro. Also, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Sorry, my alerts are not working. But thank you. Later goal stream? Oh, okay. Make... Wait. Oh, shit. Well, I remember... Don't forget to mail laundry friend stickers. Um, later goal stream. Make perfect donut. Why did that bold? Okay, we'll just do like this. There we go. It's changing the way it looks, but it's not actually affecting the actual shape of it in any way. So if you want to actually make this higher res, what you need to do is use a subsurf modifier. So the modifiers are found in the properties. This is the properties here, by the way. Okay, these Nobody are the properties. The properties. But it's this whole section on the right here. So if you click on the wrench. All right. So blah, blah, blah. If you look on the right side, this is going to be your properties. And you click on the wrench. Add modifier. And then you get a bunch of little blah, 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 blah. Mail to who? Mail to you. Welcome back, coconut. It's smooth. Yeah. We're making progress. <laughs> I always get confused. You can tell I've never got my hands dirty. I'm gonna go with spanner, and this is the modifier panel. Okay, so it's empty right now. But if you click on add modifier, you get this lovely list. And the one we are looking for is right down here, where it says subdivision subsurf. And it's probably the most common mod or like effect that's used across all 3D software. What it does is it smooths out the mesh, right? And it as a modifier, out the so what's good about modifiers is that it is what's called non-destructive, meaning that it's not applied. Like I can work on other parts of the scene, and then I can come back to the donut and go like, I want it to be smoother, and then I can change the smoothness, and then I can come back to it later and go, it's too smooth. I want to change it again. So you're not actually like nothing is being applied. It's just it's all, all the settings are kept there, so you can come back and change them as you need to. So modifiers are fantastic. So what this Okay. He said this, and then this. Like. This. <gasps> oh. Wait. Where did my button... No. Arrow. Smooth. Smoother. Smooth. 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 
You know what? This actually looks better. <laughs> I love how much fun and how like <laughs> Because we're making progress, bro. Oh, keep it at one or two. Okay. Are you talking about the levels viewpoint, the top one, or the render, the bottom one? It do be cute, right? I feel like the small ears just fit for this donut. Keep it, it's perfect. Don't destroy computer for viewport. What does that mean? The sped up dude go. This is the... That's a wide boy? Are donuts not... Isn't the hole usually like this? Also, hi, Blue. Good morning. This is three. This is two. I feel like I like this at three. Keep it how is your donut. You make that your donut. Viewport is what you're working with right now. Render is when you render an image of it. What does... So it doesn't actually change anything the way it looks here. It'll be cuter once it has the face. Sculpt the eyes and mouth. What about the color too? Okay, okay, okay. Leave the donut like this for now. What I was doing is basically, if you look at the, each of these faces here, so this is what's called a face. And it's a, like, when you've got three or more vertices, you add uh. a sort of face <laughs> between them. That's a face. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, but a subset model, what I was doing is, is it's adding like another grid between it and it's taking like the average shapes of it. So like on the edge there, like where it was uh, previously like sharp, it's, it's added, it's doubled the resolution and it's averaged it out to try to smooth it. Um, so what you're looking at is one subdivision because that's the viewport setting. The oh, his setting thing looks kind of different than mine. Right? So when, actually, when we get to that stage, that's the setting it's going to use. So his, his, mine is like one whole thing, but his is like split in two. two. You don't want to go too high though, because the higher you go, the more graphics is going to be used to render it in the viewport or when you do your actual render. So keep it low, but one is fine for this. Okay, so well done. Um, all we've got is a lumpy donut and... Uh, okay, today, next video! So make virtual donuts you can't eat. So um, in this video, we're going to make the ice. We're going to start making the ice. Oh, I like his hairstyle better here and than the last video. It looks a lot more clean and crisp. Remember you're using a new... Oh, I didn't even look at that. The, the date of this, this video. Look like icing on top of so what I want to do is, uh, I'm in object mode right now. If I went into edit mode, this will enable me to, as we mentioned in the last video, click on each of these vertices. So I want to select half of my mesh. So if I was just to drag, like drag a box over it, you can see I'm selecting. But a couple problems. One, you can see that like it's actually kind of hard to look like side on. He so rendered him so better. <laughs> I want to show you is, uh, <laughs> to look directly side on. This is kind of like freeform look and there's perspective things there. But sometimes when you model, you want to look dead on. I'm here to watch and answer any questions you might have about Blender. Great! And the more backseating, the better. Because I feel like sometimes it's just easier when you guys explain it to me versus me having to like look around on, on this. Chat can help with buttons. Chat can't teach what he is. Chat, what? He's a person. And, like, do like an intersection, like cut something in half. So, I'm gonna use number pad one, and that will look front on to the mesh. You can also use number pad three, and that's just the right hand side of that. And then number pad seven will look top down. Get my I don't have a number pad. I've got that already, that'll come in handy. But it's all there. Um, alternatively, the other way, if you don't have a number pad, you can just click up here. What is teaching? Um, oh, that, got it. I'm, I'm, so I'm sorry, four, it's 1 30, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait. Sorry, my sound alerts is not working. I'm trying to type out your name. Yurehi. Yurehi. Did that work? Yeah! Hello! Thank you for the raid! Welcome raiders, my name is Haru. I'm a variety streamer, but right now I'm on my 3D model... 3D model... 3D modeling learning... Phase. Arc. I don't know if it's really a phase. We'll see. We're on day two. So yesterday, we learned how to like move around the donut. Or a cube, and then change the cube from a rectangle back to a cube. And today we're learning to make a donut. And here is my donut so far. <laughs> uh, masters in game <laughs> development. Zertol, thank you for the follow. I don't know why, but only my follow uh, alerts are working, but none of my subs or raids or anything else is working. And I am sorry. Eventually I will get it fixed. But yeah. Uh, thank you for the follows, Ertol. And hello, hello, welcome in, guys. There's no raid message, just... Oh. 3D model learning journey, yeah. I saw you were doing Blender, so I wanted a raid. Thank you, I appreciate it. We're still learning. Um, 
yeah there's not much to say i have no experience in um art or modeling or anything related to art so this is this is a journey bro so far it's going pretty well because i have people in my chat telling me like things that i don't know or like things that i can't find and they make it so much easier bro than having to like watch these tutorial videos and try to figure it out myself that was the first half of the stream yesterday i was just like how do you move this what are what are the shortcuts here i have it open how come this is not working that's not working either oh the versions are different the versions being different have like bigger changes yeah crazy one year seems perked up and what what do you mean they look exactly the same bro they look okay actually you know what? i kind of see it the one like right here i guess looks like it's a little it looks like it's a little droopy but it's too late to fix it because i don't know how to fix it <laughs> sasha thank you for the follow Learning on Blender is better than starting with CAD and learning on Maya. 27X is the best version. I don't have a I don't have a numpad. I'm using a TKL. Just just say. Because you're not in front ortho. Uh front ortho? Wait. That's this, right? This view? Wait. Click that and move it. Oh no, now I can see more mistakes on it. I don't like this. <laughs> uh, now it's the same on each side. It still looks kind of droopy. Did you not mirror modifier? I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> she made them one by one. Yeah, I did make the ears one by one. If that's what you were asking. Yeah. It was just. It was this thing. Modifier. Mirror. But it's like too late now, huh? I mean, eyeballing it is not bad. I did try. It looked kind of. Okay, dude, like. I have. I have the, like, clip that I used for, like, my stream thing on Twitter today. I really thought that it looked like a cube until I turned. Turned the direction turn the whatever this thing is and then i saw that it was just a giant box like a rectangular box like a mattress not a fucking cube it makes it really hard <clears throat> four hours into learning for four hours into learning for absolutely nothing but i installed this and i want to do this <laughs> it's really good for things you want to keep symmetrical I mean, a donut isn't a handmade donut. Isn't exactly symmetrical, so it's okay. Ash, Ashy Rayhem, Rayheim. Thank you for the follow. Basically, mirrors your modifications to some axis to have symmetrical models. You wouldn't worry about the slight difference if it's not symmetrical. Okay. We'll, we'll just we'll just leave the donut like this for now. <laughs> um, yeah. That. Yeah. So that find menu, so you can go top, right, left, or you can just click up here. These little axes here. Um, that's that's how you can upside down, front on, etc. Um, or as I mentioned before as well, for people who don't have another pad, the tilde pot key, that key underneath the skate. Uh, that also has this little find menu, so you can go top, right. A tilde. Oh, I do have a tilde. Yay! Top, right, back. Hey, you selected bottom. Wait, review. Okay, I need to put that into my notes. Tilde, um, change, change view, change point of view. What did you say you're using for a keyboard? I have a TKL. So it has like everything from like the right to the left up until like the arrow keys, but it doesn't have like the number pad or anything. It is. Yeah. The <laughs> number I have to make notes. It helps me remember. 
Plus, if it's like super important, then I should probably right, write left. it down so I can oh, refer to it later. Okay, alt and middle mouse. Oh, so it does the same thing. Okay. Also, alt plus middle mouse, middle mouse, drag, plus drag. Aren't there numbers at the top? Yes? I think? Yes? Does that work too? I don't think it works. You can use those too? I'm pressing the numbers at the top of my keyboard, but it's not changing anything. One is front view, three is side. You have to turn on emulated numpad. Is, is that like an add-on or is that something in the settings? <laughs> Aww. Makes me wish I had time to learn this again. You stream, don't you? Content! It's in edit preferences. Edit preferences. Add-ons. Let's search for it. Um, navigation or key map. Oh yeah, this thing doesn't work either. The screen cast keys thing. <laughs> Lily Wolfie, thank you for the follow. Uh, emulated. Da -da -da -da. Input. Nope. None of these things are working. Hmm. Oh, thank you for the follow, Salas Salazander? Salamander? Salazander? Uh click on key map on the left. Oh. Okay. Input navigation. Input navigation key map on the left, and then search. Wait, it's not in. Oh, it's because I was reading your guys' messages like in order, so it got confused a little. My bad. Numpad. Number. M U. It's an input. Oh, I found it. Thank you. So let's see. You said one was front, three for side, seven for top. Wait, I should remember. Three. Oh. Viewing. One top. One top, three for side. Oh, thank you for the raid. Sorry, my sound alerts are not working, bro. Well, welcome in, raiders. My name is Haru. I am a variety streamer. I've been playing a lot of Valorant and Elden, Re Elden League recently, but we're on a journey to learn how to 3D model. Yay! We're on day two. We are about four hours in to learning how to do this. Sus. Not sus at all, bro. Um, but yeah, I hope your stream was going well. It is 1.30 a.m. I don't know if it's that late for you, but if you do need to take care of yourself, then... Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Side. Seven. How come it didn't work? In oh, seven is top. One is front. Also, welcome back, Cho. Hello, hello, what's up? What's up, what's up? Um, did you say any other ones? One front, three sides, seven top. Okay, that was it. Keep in mind that's an ortho mode. 
viewing in ortho mode. Does ortho mode mean like the side? Or what exactly does that mean? No, someone told me yesterday, but I forgot. This time I will actually make a note of it because I keep seeing ortho from you guys. I am making a donut. I am making a cute cat donut. Five changes it from ortho to perspective and vice versa. Oh, okay. Um, five changes from ortho to perspective and vice versa. Now, thank you for the lurk, Lily. I appreciate it. My brain keeps saying orthodontist mode. Wait. Okay. This. Front view. Let's just look at it from the front since it looks the cutest. Or if I drive to the right or left, it'll just snap you to the closest taxi view. Uh, which is, there you go, there's four ways to do it, Helmblend. There used to just be one number pad, right? Um, but this one is more accessible now. Where we invite all colors into Blender now. The touch devices and styluses and everything. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Right now, now I want to select half mesh, but I can't because I'm not able to see through it. So you can do that by going to the top there. There's a mode called X-ray mode. So X-ray, right? Um, the hotkey for that, by the way, if you want, is Alt-Z. Alt-Z will just toggle between that mode there. So with that there done, now I can drag a box Ooh. over it and you can see I selected the top half of my dome. So I want, I want it to be the top half, but you could go like that, but I want to make the icing, there's going to be like dribbling icing in the uh, next part. Okay, select the top, top half of the donut. Select box. Select the top half of the donut. How to select only the top half, maybe from like this. It selects the entire thing. There's so much reading. Tab to edit mode. And save this. Done. Okay. Tab. Oh. Wah. Okay. Use one for front ortho. The top half. It kind of looks like the top half to me. One for ortho. Maybe. I mean, it doesn't have to be like exactly like down the middle, right? I think. I need to look at a donut now. These ones are all, these ones are all covered. This one goes like pretty much all the way. Maybe because it's because of the like color of the donut, the frosting. I would select in face mode, you're in vertices mode. Hi Klaus, good morning. Uh, that was face mode. See, I remember. Wait. What the fuck? Oh, what the heck, bro? Hi, Reaper. Good morning. What's up? Uh, so top. Top was seven. There we go. <laughs> Can't you use a selection box somewhere? Wireframe? You're in wireframe? What is wireframe? To se select, face select. Hitting W until you're back to box select. Okay, I got it. Bye, Tilo. Have a good night. Like that. Go back to one. Go back to one front view. It's like missing the back part of it. Front view and select the top half. Okay. Yay! 
that's a win and close that since i have you here anyways and just close these i have them bookmarked of the next video we'll do the dribbling for now no. progress the hot is shift b shift d for duplicate and when shift d for oh my my thing disappeared make sure it's all the same that one is like one okay shift d to duplicate and then boom shift p what is shift p shift shift p when you do that you'll notice immediately after that it's duplicated and it's now following your cursor uh shift p makes it its own item so this is wrong shift p no what and follow the instructions okay 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 shift and pop it there for now um now i want to click right now because then that will just place it randomly here i want to cancel its movement so i want to snap it back to where it was because i want it to be just resting on the donut so i can do that by hitting escape or by right clicking either of those functions will cancel a movement and damn it. it back to its original location so it's duplicated and it's now resting on top of the donut okay now it's duplicated and it's resting on top top of the donut donut cat hat i could make i could technically later on make a little hat for the donut um so straight after that i want to immediately make it its own object so to do that the hotkey is p p for part of it to be separated <laughs> okay wait p Wait. I think I need to watch a little more. P, P uh, but P for penguin. <laughs> That's a good, good way to remember it. I don't know why I said that. Uh, we got to select selection. Okay, it's a selection. All right. So now that I've done that, if you exit out of edit mode into object mode with tab, by the way, uh, you can see we now have we have two objects. Ta -da. Okay. Um, this P selection mode, and then object, and you have two. Woo! Two different objects. And by the way, we haven't talked about the outliner, but it's this section in the top right-hand corner. Um, it actually displays all of your objects. So if you put this little drop down, um, you'll see all the objects that are currently in your scene. So you can see we've now got. What? I see my chibi up there. This, this, this. How do you feel the layers? Okay, this thing only changes the side thingy, my chibi. No. No. You. I would use solidify modifier after this, but I don't know what his step process is. I don't know either. Wait. Okay, so I see it there, but I don't see it in here. How do I make this scene collection window show up in my modeling? If you go to the right toolbar and click screencast, it says, oh, error. Oh shoot, wait. Oh my god, does it not? URL There you go. I think that should be it. Yeah. That's what it says for me when I click it. It's not a cube anymore. No, bro. But we didn't change it from a cube into a donut. We added the donut separately. Also, hi Laundry. <laughs> Let's continue. Probably needs a reinstall. I will try to get it working by tomorrow. But I also don't know if I'm going to be playing Valorant tomorrow. Because it seems like 1-2 is not working. I must sacrifice the cube, throw it away, just put it in the trash, bro. 
two objects called torus. Um, so actually, this is a good point. We should probably give them names right now. So uh, I can double click this and I can call it icing. Um, the other way, by the way, you can rename something. Okay. Um. Isn't he sculpting? Where did my donut go? Press one. Where the heck did it go? All right. Press one. If that. Taurus one. Rename as donut. Taurus two will be icing. Something is. Mm, might not be the current version. If you hit the dot, it'll take you to selected object. Send to Blender Cube Land. Maybe remove the chibi to make your life easier. Move the chibi. Okay. One. Where the heck is it? I can't click it. How do you... Wait. Delete! There we go. Where is the donut? Donut is over here. There. I'm so proud of- Thanks, Dad! Hit the period key? Period doesn't work with emulated numpad. Oh, it, it gives me like these other options. I don't know if you can see, it's really small. No, you're not dad. Bri is my dad. Ours is my dad. I have three dads, bro. What the heck? Okay, I have my rig dad, my VTuber, not actual dad. A dad that is a VTuber, a dad that is a VTuber's dad. And I have my dad, dad, who is actually a replacement for my dad. <laughs> I don't want to pay child support. It's okay, bro. I'm over 18. You don't need to pay child support. Send child support through gifted subs, bro. What? I know, right? And I'm also a dad too. Crazy, bro. Back support is called arrears. Arrears? Back support? Wait, are you talking back support for like dads or back support for? <laughs> for the the model back child support oh th th is that a thing child support that you missed out on you have to pay for it now so at any point right here it's the same hotkey as you rename a file in windows which is f2 so at any point like the amount of someone who wants to give something a quick name f2 uh, is how you can name it I'm not going to remember that one. I just like double clicking it. There's going to be some people following this tutorial, that, uh, and I'm just ignore this if you didn't do this, but some people are stuck right now because after they duplicated the icing, they right click and then they click something else, and now you have a horrible problem. The worst problem ever. You can see you've got mesh that is intersecting other mesh, and you don't know how to select part of the mesh, like the mesh that's on top of it. And it's. <gasps> Wait, did I make that mistake? How do I select this? Hold on. Dot. It doesn't work. Wait. One. Can I not select? I mean, if I, if I can see the outline, that means it is two separate things, right? You need to save for a house? You ain't buying a house. <laughs> Do you even know how much a down payment? Actually, you don't live in California. That sounds doable now. And we blast a hole through its skull. But it's so cute. One million. Actually, for a down payment on like a something like something small, small, we're like talking 500k or something. You probably just need like 150k, 150 to 200k ish. Actually, no. My condo is almost 700k, but the down payment on it is like 270 ish. Actually, yeah, the math seems to work. I don't know. It's 2 a.m. My brain doesn't work for math right now. For us, it'd be like 50000 for a down payment. That's so much more doable, bro. 
50,000 is like buying a car in cash. But instead you just put it into your savings account. Is that a hole or is it just the lighting? <gasps> Why is my donut discolored? What the heck, bro? What is that? Scale it out. Pole Z fighting? Just the top part? Wait. Why is there a hole in my donut? Is it moldy? <laughs> Wait, how did this happen? Bro. It's okay, Laundrick. You'll get there one day. Take a bite. Just click only the top part. He sculpted a dent? That doesn't look like a dent to me. Bro, my donut. Never get over the fact that American houses are made of wood. What? What, what are your houses made of? It still has like these like little little dot thingies in them. Why is it so like bumpy? Brick and cement? Then it'd probably be like a lot more soundproof too. Mm. I mean, I feel like sometimes you do see houses that are like made like that. I'm trying to think about the places that I've lived in. I know that the floor of my condo has cement. And I know that when I've been like hopping around before, I asked my downstairs neighbor if they could hear me and they were like, no, you're good. A lot of European houses are made of stone brick. That's true, Cho is European. Texas is bricks and cement? No way! The two houses that I was at, it didn't seem like it was made of rock. Adobe style? Wait. How do I select the donut? Is this in two pieces right now? How do I select this? Yes, it's in two pieces. A cement in the floor and a metal sheet. People upstairs could be jumping and I wouldn't hear a thing. Oh. You're in sculpt mode? Control tab. Object mode. Not hodo. Got it. In California, it's just a shack. In California, you can live in a cardboard box, bro. And the rent? Yeah, without utilities, let's say like $3,000. Oh, and then like square footage, let's say like 200, bro. Live in a wood house. Mm. Okay, we have our two parts of the donut. It's, it's the worst problem. Worse than Hitler. Um, um, but, uh, exactly. You control, you do, you, uh, Hello, Min. L. What's up? So, uh, like one vertice selected, Control L will select all of its connected vertices. So I'm saying this because some people will be stuck at this point and they'll be like, ah, I can't continue. So that's how you do it. You select part of the mesh. Anyways, I'm gonna delete that, and now we've got our donut and our icing. Ta I don't know, and I see. It's now sitting on top. Hooray for us. Uh, by the way, I should. Uh, this is my third time recording this video, so I, I accidentally uh, haven't done this. But when you, by default, this is what you'll see. When no, no, one more. There we go. When you try to zoom into your donut, you'll see that it's like half. It's like cutting into your donut, and it's very. Okay, when you zoom into the donut, you'll see that is. Ooh, it's hollow on the inside. Okay, 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 okay. This is gonna be difficult for me to help navigate you through. I put my UI back to twenty-seven x for twenty-seven. What is the most recent one? I thought it was like... Wait. 2.7? Download. Current is 3.6? Yeah, this is the one I downloaded yesterday. When you 
you gaze into the donut, the donut gazes back into you. Into the donut. Nice. Because the clipping amount for Blender, like as a default, is set like quite high, like at the start clipping, which means that because it's like it's designed, Blender's designed to work for like large scale scenes, and we're working like 10 centimeters right now, really small. So this, uh, I'm pushing N, N for Nelly. I can do properties, but it's, it brings up the property side, but or you can click the little arrow up there and drag that out. Um, anyways, clipping start. I just want to change that to 0 0.001. And now when I zoom into the donut, it doesn't clip, so we can actually get in close without things disappearing. Okay. Okay. Something on here. Clip start 0 .00, 0 .001. 0 .001. 0 0.01 I'll hide that again Okay, so I want to give it some thickness The donut is paper thin, it is a paper yarmulke And we want to give it thickness So, uh, there's a modifier for that Um, so if you go to the modifier stack By the way, I just Go to the modifier stack Go somewhere in the comments mention Spanner and wrench are the same thing Today I learned <laughs> So, uh, icing Make sure your icing selected And we're gonna go add modifier up here And the one we're looking for is called solidify What this does Okay, icing Wrench Add modifier, solidify, and it looks ugly. Solidifier. Okay. It gives thickness to any mesh. So basically, it's it and it's now given thickness to it. Um, and you can see that it's now a super, super thick icing. Um, it's currently facing inwards, so that uh, icing is pushing into the mesh itself. So there's this offset value here. If I drag that all the way up, it's now facing outwards. Okay. There's an offset value here, and it was outwards. I should probably scroll out. Press one. This front view. Actually, that looks pretty good for like the frosting thickness. Solidify. Slime girl, it's frosting, bro. Obviously, unless you wanted a crazy amount of icing, like they do for like cream cheese on bagels. It's just like here's a kilo of cream cheese on a bagel. Too much. Um. So what I want to do? Just change the thickness amount to something reasonable. So I'll just type in I don't know 0 0.002. We'll give you two millimeters of uh, of icing. Maybe I'll. I'll Point zero zero two. Um, I feel like this is good enough. Add a, a five at the end, please. You know, it, it looks nice if it's like a juicy, thick, thick icing on top. That's so gross. Uh, dear. You know, thicker. Okay. How thick is like thicker though? I feel like this much, this much icing should be good. Like that. Thick. Mm. I want to make a slime girl at some point. That'd be a good challenge. How do you make a 3D model that's like clear ish, bro? Weird, I would personally use subdivision modifier and then scope mode. Would use pole and cloth emulate. Ignore me. Okay. Is this too thick for frosting on a donut? Is that like point zero point zero two right now? Clear-ish, like transparent. Like yeah, like slime girls are like you can kind of see through them. I guess. I feel like you could see through them. I'm just going to finish this video and then I have to go to sleep. My appointment tomorrow. All right. So one final thing before we get to the next video. Hey, we're making good time. Uh, I want to move because you can see like on the edge here, like that's a hard edge for that icing. It's like you can oh. yeah, cut your teeth on that edge there. It's a hard and bright angle. And that's because what we've got is we've got the solid, uh, sorry, the subsurf modifier. It's smoothing it out, but it's doing that first, and then it's doing the solidify step after it, and it's giving it a hard right angle edge. So I want to swap those around because it works top to bottom. So I'm just going to hit the up arrow. Now it's solidified first, and now we've got a rounded edge. Now it's solidified. How do I know? I mean, it looks kind of rounded to me. Is it not round? It looks round. I mean, I guess it's kind of like sharp here at this like little point. What does solid even mean? It means like you can grab it. Like if you if you try to stick your fingers in a slime girl, it would literally just go through her. But if you stick your fingers into like a human, your fingers don't go through because it's solid. <laughs> Sorry, I, I couldn't think of a better way to describe that or like explain it. But that's that's how you know if it's like solid or not. <laughs> Bro. Um, even that is rounded. Model would still be solid, but you'd have to mess with the materials. Like, I don't know. I'm not a 3D modeler, so I guess I can't think of like how it would be right now. Solid meaning no holes in the mesh, basically. 
Some girls have holes in their meshes because of like you sticking your finger in them, right? No? Some girls are Newtonian fluid. The harder you hit it, the more solid it becomes. So you mean like if you were to jump off a 50 foot diving board and hit the water? Oh wait, this thing does look round, so I guess I'm done here. Four hours in there. Yay for us. Cool. Um, so we will, in the next part of this tutorial, we will uh, go in and edit it and we'll actually start to make it look droopy like it's dribbling down. A okay, cool. How many more videos do we have to go through? One, two, three. Oh, we're basically, wait. No, we're not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We have 20 more videos to go through. We have completed three. <laughs> Let's see. If we do like one and a half video in two hours, four, four hours, three videos. There's 20 videos left. Four hours, three videos left. 80. 80 hours? Eighty hours for for making a donut? Wait, if a donut takes eighty hours, then approximately how long would it take to like make a chibi a chibi model and rig it? Bro. No way. Hold on. 80 hours? If I stream 2 hours on the weekdays in one week, that is 10 hours. Because I'm probably going to play Valorant or something on the weekend. 10 hours times 4 months, four weeks in a month, that's 40. That'll take me 2 hours to make a donut? Bro. Oh my god. Damn. Damn. As a beginning, it would take you... It would take you... Quit. Quite some time to learn. Quite some time to make a chibi model. You asked for this when you said I want to learn? Okay. Donut is taking so long because it's you learning it. So like once I finish the donut, then because I know how to do it, it'd be a lot easier, right? So then it would take me less time than I think it would take in order to make a model. <laughs> Hi, Taku. He's just joking. He's just joking. Don't worry. He's joking. <laughs> oh, it takes longer because you're needing to learn. It's okay. You know what? A uh, day two, I'm still committed to learning. Ask me at the end of day 10. We'll see. <laughs> and I bet the people helping you learn could make the donut in less than an hour. True. I feel like if you guys were not here in my chat helping me with like commands and like where to find things, it would take me even longer than the 84 hours to make the donut. Because I don't have to spend my time like looking and like googling things every time I don't know something. Do some... Do someone on ones with someone. Oh, do some one on ones with someone in Discord. You would learn so fast. I have no time. That's the problem. I have no time. The whole... So my... Originally my thing was like, oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna work outside a stream to i'm gonna set some time outside of stream to learn how to do this myself but then i realized because of my schedule my work schedule um i would not have time at all or i'd have like very little time so it was just like bro learning this could also be content and i could like learn so it's like two birds one stone yeah well well i know very yeah, it's for six sleep for Chibi Hau, but I like my sleep, bro. <laughs> uh, thank you for the follow, Corpse Doctor, and thank you for the follow, Feeling 
feelings. Exactly. But it is 2 a.m. Let's, uh... I'm gonna bookmark this. Open this up. Let us look for someone to re I... Let us look... Ugh. Mute. Or we'll do the donut, then a bakery, then a donut. I'm not gonna make that many donuts, bro. <laughs> I might make like one or two for donuts. Why are these top two and two and three not, um... Thingy? You know what? If I were to click mine and then click on the tag, I could probably find someone doing something similar, huh? Whoops. Keep forgetting that's the follow sound. Let's see, click that, click that. We have one here. Okay, we have one here. <laughs> Alrighty, so tomorrow I am not sure what we have planned for stream. It will probably be Valorant, but if it's not Valorant, then I'm going to be working on this donut again. Uh, I am going out tomorrow, so I probably won't be streaming until like maybe 3 or 4 p.m. PST. So yeah, if you want to keep up with like streams and like notifications, you can join the Discord server because I post everything there better than I do um, on any other form of social media. Pistol Daddy, thank you for the follow. And Coconut Spider, thank you for the follow. We oh, I didn't even start the raid. We just do this guy because he's the only other person that I could see right now that's like uh doing doing the thing so yeah have a good rest of your day and or night and I will see you when I see you